But a topic that I really do enjoy myself, though, is viewer comments. Viewer comments. From Raphael. I have not read Lock and Key, but Joe Hill's Basketful of Heads is one of my favorite books this year. The dialogue in this book is the most organic dialogue I've read in a comic book. Amazing. I agree. You've read Lock and Key. I read the first trade. It's been a long time. I need to go back and actually commit to the whole series. My dad really likes Lock and Key. Your dad really does like Lock and Key. That makes me a little more inclined to read it. You know, I know him. So if I don't like Lock and Key, I'm gonna I'm gonna go after your dad. There you go. Pretty much how that's gonna happen. But we're also talking about some other stuff that's kind of in that same in that same Hill House area. Yeah, the Dollhouse family. We we're we're gonna talk about that in the after show. That's right. Stay tuned for the after show. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Stitcher, or SoundCloud, where we turn the cameras off, but we keep it going. We keep talking about comic books audio only. All right. This next comment is from Capital J fourteen fourteen. Thanks for commenting. Green Lantern is awesome. That's. I want to say there's, I picked it for other reasons, but you know, mostly was that once, it? once I read that sentence. Bias pick. Yes. I don't even care who they pick. They're all great options. He's talking about the TV show they're going to make, sure. what it's going to be based on. I doubt that they will make it Alan Scott, but there will for sure be a nod to him. I'd love to see John Stewart. And then that's, I had to kind of pick. I mean, there were a whole bunch of comments about, about the, uh, the Green Lantern uh, series. And uh, I don't know. This one, this one felt good to me. Like it, it's the most open. Like there's, there's so many ways they can take that show, and that's kind of going to be the most interesting thing about it is to see what how it eventually what they eventually decide to base it off of. I was listening to Variant Comics' new podcast, Eris and Tim, talking about this and mentioning like how cool would it be? I don't think this is going to happen, but if you turn on this show and you have just the different lanterns all fighting each other in space, cosmic craziness, just like the different colors. Like we were chatting about how difficult right. it would be to get there. But what, what if, if they just started they just off? just did it. They right? just threw it on the screen. That's risky. It's risky, but it, then it made nuts. me smile it to hear him talk about it. I'm like, I would like it. It would be cool if they right? just if they took it like super seriously and just went for it. It'd be risky, but I'd really like to see that too. Next comment we have is from Jason Lamberth. Venom does have a theme song by Eminem. Oh, he does have a theme song. We were talking about Venom theme songs that don't exist, yeah. but we forgot, obviously, the most important theme song of, of all superheroes. I don't know, man. I kind of should have done this in the superhero that. theme song quiz. <laughs> Which one the, is this? The yeah. Venom, 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 Venom. I got that <laughs> Venom, Venom, Venom. Yeah. How would you not know? I don't know what him. <laughs> so bad, man. That's that was ta- that was terrible. I did not enjoy that song. That's it. Just it literally, I blocked it from my memory. I forgot that that Eminem song even existed. And if you don't know what we're talking about. It's the superhero themes. We did a quiz and we'll put the link to it. And I was trying to stump Ryan. You got a good amount of them right. You also got a good amount of stumpage over on me, though. I, I was pretty stumped for, for a significant portion. I think it was 50 50, I think is what I got. Exactly half. There you go. That's a, that's a good ratio. I don't even, I don't know. This is just letters J L P E T C. Jill Pitts. Jill Pitts. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for uh, leaving a comment, Jill Pitts. Good to see the foreign niche getting some due attention. And so earlier I said I had to pick from a bunch of different Green Lantern comics, but the most of the comments of, on the last podcast that I was on here were in response to the foreign comics section that we oh, did. Oh, holy smokes, dude. The foreign comic section of that podcast was lit in the comment section. Yes, I would, I would suggest that that might be one of the more successful segments we've done in a very long time. Like The, the feedback we got on that was insane. The feedback was crazy. And you know what, Matthew Royball, he hit me up after the fact, thanking me. And it was so cool to see messages in the group, which I put the group link in the bio of that video. So if you wanted to join like a foreign collectors group on Facebook and see some cool things, you can. I'm actually trying to pull up right now on eBay. There was a listing that was just so crazy that went up that I wanted to share with the community. So this right here is a Fantastic Four number one UK version. Okay, this came out in 1962. And it's by Creepy Worlds is the name of this comic book. And it looks like just the standard Fantastic Four cover, but it's like an oversized, appearing to be oversized, a bit bigger than a piece of paper. And here's what's really cool about this thing. Aside from it being listed for $60,000, okay, because this is a foreign gem, these things you can't find, especially ones that are sought out after like issue number one. But this one doesn't just come with a certificate of authenticity. It comes with the four plates that were used to make the freaking comic, like the metal plates. That they like stamped onto the paper? Like, oh, wow. Yeah, like they're different color and everything. Printing press stuff. Yeah, it's so cool, man. 
So 60 grand, you can get that foreign piece of history. But it's stuff like this that just randomly comes up that gets people excited. We can make that happen, right? Just $60,000. We'll pull it together. That's right. 30 from me, 30 from you. Boom. Good to go. It's ours. We can make our own Fantastic Four number one. That's right. UK version. That's right. With the plates. 